Oh, look who's on the line. Dick Smith. Good morning, Dick. Yes, yeah, Dick Smith here. Macca, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And yourself? Yeah, really good. Yeah. What have you been doing with yourself, Dick? I haven't heard well, from you for ages. Yeah, no, look, I've I bought myself a little vehicle called a Sun Camper. And talk about endangered species. <laughs> There's a company in Sydney called Sun Camper. They build this sort of um, camper unit on the back of a Toyota, and it's all hand done. I walked into their factory, and it reminded me of factories in the 1960s where you have craftsmen actually doing beautiful workmanship, and they're Aussies being paid Aussie wages. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and so we can do some really good things in Australia, and uh, I think most of the caravans and camper vans are built here now, which is fantastic. One of the things that we're getting a lot of letters about, and we're getting letters to, not just emails, is about manufacturing in Australia. And and I, you know, you're a you're a manufacturing brain, and you you look at the the landscape, as it were. Um, and people talk about you know getting back on you know, Australia, getting back to manufacturing, because you just realise when something like this happens, all the things we don't make. Um, exactly. Yeah, no, you're exactly right, but it is fantastic. We can make so many things. There are lots of these little niche companies like Sun Camper that are actually manufacturing, but we just need more and more of them. And I think there's more. As you know, I had to close Dick Smith Foods down because we just couldn't compete with companies like Aldi. But more and more people are thinking, oh, I think I'll pay a little bit more and support the home team because they're worried about the future. Yeah, have you got any ideas? Do you think we can get back to manufacturing? I think the idea certainly um, from government is that um, we go high in manufacturing, but that doesn't employ people, does it? A lot of people, I mean. Well, yeah, so much manufacturing is automated now. That's one of the problems. But there's lots of handcrafts with stuff and there's lots of things we do. So it's a matter – I'd love to do a TV show showing – what we make in Australia, and people will be incredibly surprised. There are some really high technology companies going, and then there are simple, the, the built, just putting up buildings and things like that are beautifully done these days. And you wouldn't have thought it, would you? We get calls, got a call from a Qantas pilot last week. He's driving a delivery van. His mates are packing shelves. I mean, you just wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought, Dick, would you, that um, all these pilots, wonderful people, skilled people, all, you know, either out of a job or stacking shelves or whatever. Yeah, like aviation is, you know, particularly almost destroyed at the moment, especially general aviation in the country, and that's really, really sad. Let's hope it will come good, good again. Uh, what I'm amazed is, I don't know if you've seen the video around, it was Bill Gates five years ago, yep. 2015, predicting this coronavirus mm. exactly as it's happened. So I wish we'd listened to Bill Gates at the time. Yeah, and I read something the other day where Tony Abbott had written a paper in 2005 or six or something about exactly the same thing and uh, preparation for these sort of I'm just amazed that you know it's not my job because I don't do that I do other things and you but you know certainly in government somewhere there must be people who look at pandemics and you would have thought there would be warehouses full of just like you prepare for war um yep. you know you prepare for you know events that you don't know about but you've read about so you'd have a warehouse or warehouses full of masks and warehouses full of sanitizer and all the sorts of things that you might need when when it hits the fan in whatever way but seems like everybody and certainly we were caught short yeah, absolutely. But I think things will be different in future. Look, I'm hoping we're going to get through this and come out better. Imagine if we'd lived during the Second World War. Well, I was born, but I was too young. But uh, if we'd lived through the Second World War, you would have thought, gee, what's going to happen? Yeah, Are we ever exactly. going to get out of it? Yeah. And, and we got out of it and we became better people because of it. The same thing will happen here. I'm very positive, but we've just got to get over this next few months or so. Yeah, well, you have. A, I know you listen to the podcast. Um, I don't know if you heard... Um, was it uh, Murray in Dubbo, the beekeeper, wonderful fella. You have a listen. We'll put him on our podcast. He was just positive and wonderful. He, he's had his bees down, down in Robinvale on the almonds because the almonds is huge now, and so they've got to be um, fertilised. Otherwise, they don't uh, get any almonds, and the almonds, a big commercial crop goes over. Much of our almond crop goes overseas. So have a Amazing. M- Murray. Was- Amazing. And, and you know my farm down at Gundru. I just got a video from Ben, my manager, and it's flooding the the uh, the river itself. The Yass mm. River is flooding, so uh, the huge dam there. What's the dam just below the Yass River? Barranjuk Dam. Barranjuk, yeah. It was it was about thirty percent full. It's going to get a lot of water in it, and all that can be used by the farmers. And Dick Mur- uh, Murray's bees. They're not on JobKeeper. Any of those bees? Oh. They're, they're just they're just working well, can, working it. Can, Yep. Congratulations to them. I have some friends who could have applied for job job keeper, but they just have it on principle because they said they're okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, or, or others give it to charity. Good on you, Dick. Yep. Great to talk to you, mate. We'll catch up sometime.
Great to talk to you. Bye bye. Thanks, Macca. Bye. You've been listening to an ABC podcast. Discover more great ABC podcasts, live radio, and exclusives on the ABC Listen app.